Samuel. Good morning. Hi, Fiona. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. So thank you so much for um, making time for us. How are you? Uh, doing pretty good. I, I, I feel, you know, I guess today is Monday, so it's been a, uh, about uh, uh, five days since I got here. So every day it's kind of, you know, you get out of prison and in a normal circumstance, you, you need a little bit of time. So uh, kind of get back in the swing of things, but uh, it's actually been a little faster in a way, simply because I was deported immediately and then have to really kind of get into things and get adjusted. So every day it gets a little bit more uh, normal, getting back into a routine. But uh, at the same time, you know, it's funny. I was I was actually in a in a Uber coming over to this hotel where I'm sitting doing this, and I had a thought that I hadn't really had in the last few days since I've been out. But there's that in some ways I just feel so lucky to mm -hmm. be able to do all of this now, right? Um, I mean, if this hadn't happened, uh, you know, I'd be still sitting in sort of a corporate job and, you know, you feel you're comfortable in a corporate job, but it's kind of meaningless. And I feel like this gives me, it kind of knocked me out of it. It, it reminded me why I became a lawyer in the first place. Um, and it wasn't to help rich corporations get richer, I guess. Uh, and it gives me some purpose and something that I really care about, which is, uh, you know, Hong Kong, Hong Kongers, and more generally just rule of law and, and justice. And it gives me some sort of drive to, to fall for it. So, yeah, it, it's been a tough couple of years. Um, but at the same time, I feel really optimistic and really good about where it's put me uh, mindset wise and where it's situated me for, for um, you know, the things that I can do, hopefully going forward to try to try to help the movement and, and, uh, uh, and work towards it tiny bit of a, a better future. What does Hong Kong mean to you? How long have you been in Hong Kong? And I first got there in 2013. Um, I left for a couple of years in uh, 2016 because I decided I really wanted to um, settle down. So I went to Taiwan, studied Chinese, uh, and then came back. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, Hong Kong, yeah, it's funny, as a, as a Westerner, you get to Hong Kong and you start out in this sort of expat world and at the time you're like wow hong kong is great you know, so much so it's a busy place and shiny buildings and stuff uh but that's obviously just kind of the surface thing and then over time like you know you start to associate hong kong with so much more than that um what happened to you in in jail uh well the two different two different prison terms right so last summer uh was six weeks seven almost seven weeks and then just now was another six weeks uh, I, uh, I, I spent the summer Olympics in jail and then the winter Olympics in jail, which uh, I guess that's uh, the way to think about it. <laughs> yeah, which is actually really good because it gives you something to watch on TV when you don't speak Cantonese very well. So, uh, that, that was positive. Um, but, uh, there, there were two quite different experiences, um, simply because, uh, this time the prisons were on lockdown. Um, right. Last last summer, uh, the prisons were. I mean, I could talk about the prisons forever, and I will try to write some on on the prisons. But um, you know, you don't come across much in the way of sort of you know violent brutality or anything like that in there. Uh, I mean, there were a couple incidents of, of, of you know, violence, but um, largely the guards, especially the younger guards, they're pretty chill. Um, you know, you're not having people shouting at you all the time is it because you're foreigners that so that's what i was gonna that's what right? i was gonna get to next is i think anything i say about prison you have to qualify it by by realizing that uh i was treated differently than even a local uh political prisoner would be treated um to give you a kind of a, a funny example of this um you know you at stanley prison you walk around in, in lines to go somewhere uh, and I, I take some medicine and, and every, every night I would get in a line and, uh, with about 10 people and walk over to get that. Um, so last summer, you know, one time I was walking in this line and I was, I had a friend in front of me, uh, from Latin America, from, uh, Venezuela and a friend behind me, uh, from Uganda. And so I started chatting with my Ugandan friend behind me while we're in the line, the guard comes up. And he grabs the Ugandan guy out and he says, no talking in the line. You know there's no talking in the line. He says nothing to me. So the Ugandan guy goes in. So we keep walking uh, and I start talking to my Venezuelan friend. Um, and you know, I initiated it. 
he walks up to the Venezuelan guy, he grabs him out and he says, no talking, you know, you're not supposed to talk in line. Still says nothing to me. Um, and I think, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's, 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 it's partly being a foreigner, but these guys are foreigners too. I think more than that, uh, it's my background. It's the fact that, uh, you know, I had, I would have me, you know, every week have the consulate coming and visit me. I would have nine lawyers at times coming and visiting me. Right. Um, and I think they, they, it's, it's, it's partly about being a foreigner, but it's more, more, you know, this guy can make trouble for us. Um, yeah. They, they and, kind and of know kind of not to mess with you in a sense. Yeah. Right? yeah. I think that's right. For sure. Um, going back to your time in prison, did you meet any, um, political prisoners that is known to us? Like, did you meet any one of them? How are they uh, doing? I knew a lot of political prisoners, uh, but most of the well-known ones are are segregated from from other prisoners. Uh, I saw Joshua a couple times in Stanley this time. Uh, he looked okay, but they won't let him talk to him. Um, I literally just saw him kind of going into the bathroom a couple times and coming back out. Um, right. But if you try to talk to him, they will jump in front of you real fast. So uh, he's not allowed to talk to anyone. No, and and this is. I think this is kind of what I referenced earlier, right? Um, you know, I think from a day-to-day -day basis, individual guards, you know, you don't see that much hostility, but there is a senior process in place, um, sort of a systemic thing that is, it can only be designed to make these people suffer. I mean, there is no justification whatsoever for having people like Joshua or Jimmy Lai uh, isolated in these cells. Uh, just, it, it makes absolutely no sense. Seeing you today, it's a relief. Um, I'm seeing that at least like on the front, you look really good. You look really good and you yeah. look like you're doing okay. You're do doing fine. But um, do you need to see any counseling or therapy just to, you know, I, I, cause I, I don't know what's inside your feeling. So. Um, yeah. I mean, I, uh, I haven't, uh, I mean, I've only been out for a few days. It's, it's probably a good idea at some point for sure, just to kind of work through some of the things um that and and the traumas uh of course that's probably true for us there's anger i mean i'm pissed and i mean what i've tried to do is not to not to sort of minimize that anger uh, but rather to channel it um and channel it into the work that we've been doing to kind of spread the word and things like that that helps a lot Moving forward um you you previously mentioned you just mentioned that the whole experience kind of changed your outlook in life um so moving forward you need a job so is there anything that changes your career move or um anything that you wanted to do more in terms of helping hong kongers uh yeah so i think i kind of i kind of uh, this is how my mind works so like in prison i have like i made like a little chart where i divided it out into things i needed to do uh but once i got to uh, the U.S. Um, and I think there's you know, four different categories of things that I'm trying to do. Um, number one is, uh, you know, the career shift, which is, uh, and, and I'm, you know, having meetings here, meeting with some of the activists and exile community and trying to figure out where I can be most useful with this specific skill set that I have and specific background that I have. Um, and I would like to, uh, you know, hopefully get into a place where I can uh, make my work for Hong Kong or it's more broadly for uh, human rights in Asia uh, into a uh, full-time thing. Uh, number two is I think sort of the witness and spreading the word. Um, and that's a matter of, you know, writing down some of my experiences in on my blog. Uh, uh, I've got, you know, I'll, I'll speak to media like I'm doing here, things like that, just kind of share the experience and spread the word about it. Uh, number three is 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 the book and, and trying to figure out how to record all of that, uh, and then number four, the goal is is trying to figure out you know, where to live and uh, bringing over my partner and my my dog um, and just kind of getting us settled. So that's that's all part of the plan. And I think the 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 next thing that I'll be announcing somewhat soon in the next couple of weeks, we are going to appeal. So we'll have another whole saga of. Uh, you know, going up to the court of final appeal and, and seeing seeing what happens there. I'm not certainly not getting my hopes up, but we're, we're going to do it anyway. Exactly, that's something yeah. you do, right? Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Great, right. thank you so much for your time, Samuel. Absolutely, thank you so much, Fiona. Okay, right. bye.
我多謝晒，多謝晒誒 f i o n a 幫我哋做咗一個好好嘅訪問。喂，但我唔識英文喎、啊，點算啊？啲人即係我見到網友喺度，哇！即係有啲人嗌曬救命。佢話好在大家就不離不棄我哋啫。係係係。第一咁就咁講啦。其實呢，喺成個如果你講製作方面呢，嗱新聞難揾呢，咁所以我哋咪要揾人啦。但係原來我發覺一樣嘢呢，係最貴嘅，大家就冇留意到呢，就係、是、做嗰啲字幕啊。系，其实做字幕呢系要用好多好多时间，即唔可以就咁 Google Translate 同埋而家咧喺 YouTube 嗰度呢，第一冇 live 嘅 Translate 啦，你 live 嗰啲有啲人呢，就即係之后后期呢，佢话哦 YouTube 呢系有个 function 呢，如果嚟英文呢转第啲呢，可能有呢个 function， 系啊，就冇广东话嘅。冇計，但係暫時不如好簡單咁樣快講啊！好啊，你講啊。頭先咧，佢就話即係而家暫時佢都淨喺美國嗰度咧揾嘅一個即係、就是、可以 settle down 嘅地方啦。咁但係咧，因為今次呢一個嘅誒呢一個嘅經歷咧，係令佢改變咗好多。咁佢以前大家都知道咧，佢係幫啲銀行裏面做律師啊嘛。咁佢話以前咧，佢就覺得。唉，我我都係幫一啲好好有錢嘅機構，令到佢哋更有錢啫，咁樣我覺得意義唔重大。佢話反而呢，發生咗今次呢一件事呢，係令到佢覺得係喎，其實呢，我係有個 calling， 我係應該做一啲更加有意義嘅嘢。所以佢而家呢，返到去美國呢，係揾緊一啲嘅組織呢，佢可以加入呢，幫手發下聲啦。咁佢而家呢，亦都係會將誒佢之前喺 Reddit 裏面嘅 campaign 啊，佢喺獄中裏面嘅一啲經歷呢，就寫返做一本書啊。咁佢又寫好多嘅 newsletter 等等嘅，咁佢希望呢，可以從而呢，係幫香港人呢繼續去發聲。咁佢話 r e d d i t 嗰一次呢。佢喺呢一個訪問裏面誒冇提，我哋陣間長版嗰個呢，我哋會講下嘅。咁啊，長版個訪問佢講呢，原來 Reddit 佢上次嗰個 campaign 呢，係 Reddit 寫咗個 email 俾佢啦。原來係嗰啲 Q&A 嘅排行榜第三受歡迎。佢話好開心，因為好開心唔係因為佢嘅經歷啦，係因為呢今次呢一件事係令到呢有好多外國嘅人呢，係寫返信俾佢，佢話呢。其實我哋都估到香港係有啲嘢嘅，但係我哋唔係好知道誒 exactly 發生緊咩事，所以好多謝你話俾我哋聽呢，香港而家係發生緊咩事咁樣咯。咁啊，最後就係佢講到佢遲啲係會誒揾一啲嘅心理治療啦，因為佢係即係經歷咗呢一啲嘅情況。你提議佢嘅喎呢個？哎呀，咁但係、哎、我有聽嘅咩冇聽啫，我識英文少少啊。係係係，好勁。咁跟住佢就即係佢話，因為佢而家呢，成日都會。突然間咧有一啲好好誒好憤怒啊！即係佢話突然，你即係你知可能經過咗呢啲好委屈嘅時間咧，突然佢話突然間咧會飆出嚟有啲好憤怒。就 Will Smith 突然間走出嚟咁樣。係啊，咁佢話所以咧嚟緊佢話可能都會係下一步會做嘅嘢咁樣咯。咁啊呢一個係一個簡短嘅訪問，咁嚟緊咧我哋會有一個誒、呃、超過半鐘訪問嘅長版，咁、嗯嗯、大家咧就可以繼續誒、呃、去聽啦。咁同埋佢亦都講過佢喺獄中裏邊係見過黃之峰啦。咁啊，四十七人案裏面，原來大部分嘅人呢，佢哋都係將佢分開咗，同其他嘅囚犯單獨囚禁啊嘛。頭先聽到嗰啲好差啊嘛。喂，佢有冇？佢係咪講到佢話，即係如果佢始終係一個外國人呢，係比較優惠啲嘅對佢。佢話呢，其實外國人唔係特別有優惠，但係佢係特別有優惠，因為呢，佢係每一日都有領事去見佢，同埋有九個律師呢係圍繞住佢，所以呢，其實嗰啲獄卒呢係完全知道咧呢個人呢，就千祈唔好搞。即係千祈唔好惹佢，如果唔係呢，就可能好大鑊嘅咁樣。咁所以佢算係喺獄中裏面呢，嗰、那個待遇算係好㗎啦。同埋佢最難嘅、最難忘嘅經驗就係佢兩次坐監，佢中間出咗嚟一陣㗎嘛，保釋，跟住又要拉返佢呢。係咁啱一個就喺即係夏季嘅奧運，就即係即係兩個，一個就冬季奧運呢，即係兩個呢就被拉嘅時期，所以佢係永世難忘嘅呢樣嘢啦。係啊，咁啊係啦，咁啊希望我哋遲啲呢，就有多啲嘅資源，就可以做埋一個字幕嘅翻譯啦。真係講真，呢樣嘢好想做好耐，不過真係冇冇。你調返轉啦，我哋都想將廣東話變成英文嘅。我哋覺得好多聲文啊，我哋啲嘉賓訪問呢，其實呢係好難得揾到嘅，好多時候。係啊係啊，呢個但係但係真係嗰、那個真係好難揾人啦、啊，同埋嗰個嗰、那個時間同埋嗰種厭惡性呢係好難㗎。即係你對住嗰樣嘢要重複咁樣打完。save 咗再打好难，除非你话哦，我系好中意做呢样嘢呢。咁啊，请你可以即系又系 jobs and hong kong station dot com， 你仲要收我哋一个好抵嘅价钱喎，因为出面翻译系好似、呃、如果冇记错啊，十零分钟帮你做一个啊，好似四百蚊加币噶
。哇，咁我哋你谂下每个访问，对唔住，我哋俾唔起，真心俾唔起啊，真真心俾唔起啊。咁咁同埋又要赶咧，咁跟住咧，我哋讲开啲纪录片咧，啱啱出咗呢一个嘅。誒、呃、報道呢，其實我都唔知原來有呢一條嘅短片咯。誒、嗯 uh, Face Media 呢。原来咧，佢最近咧就即系出咗一个喺星期六就出咗一个叫做 Hong Kong Organized Crime Societies 咁样嘅一个短片。咁佢中间咧其中一条片咧就系讲紧七二一嘅。咁佢系七二一诶，元朗发生啲咩事啊？跟住咧亦都系访问咗好多我哋认识嘅人啊，包括有柳俊刚啊、何桂南啊。跟住另外嗰个我 recognize 唔到，仲有其他嘅嘅人啦、啊，咁样。咁啊，呢一個呢，佢就係探討黑社會同埋中港政治嘅關係咁樣嘅。咁但係原來呢一條片呢，喺香港睇唔到喎。即係如果你喺香港，係香港好多嘢都睇唔到。一有呢啲有何桂蘭個樣就唔使睇㗎啦。你你講得好啱啊！即係基本上有個四十七人啊嗰啲嘅片呢，其實而家都好難可以再睇到啦。咁但係外國嘅人呢，就會睇到嘅。咁啊，有四十六點七萬人係睇到啦，一千多個係留言嘅。只係如果你喺香港嘅話呢，留言都冇㗎啦，誒誒睇都冇㗎啦。咁我諗喺香港，如果你係 VPN 嘅話呢。就應該會有得睇咁樣，咁同埋呢，佢今次呢一條片呢，係、呃、除咗係講咗七二一之外呢，佢係誒誒都會仲有講，譬如立場啊、蘋果啊、眾新聞啊、其他嘅嘅事咁樣咯。咁啊，大家如果你喺香港又有 VPN 嘅話呢，都可以嘗試下有冇其他嘅途徑可以睇到呢一條片啦。都應該多多支持嘅，我覺得。咁我好快咁樣講兩個財經消息，可能對大家呢，就關大家事嘅。咁通常呢，呃、你有冇聽過一個叫？盈富基金嘅呢个名啊，有听过。盈富基金咧，之前咧就系由另外一间即系管理公司咧，就佢叫做即系佢取替咗一间叫做道富啊，好似佢系离开咗诶香港啊嘛个 office， 即系咁就变咗冇人即系 track 即系做呢、這个即系盈富基金啦，即系大家嗰啲叫强积金啊，咪好多摆咗落去噶嘛。嗯、好啦，咁、嗯、啊有好消息啊，咁我觉得对于香港人嚟讲咧。到底邊個接手都好緊要噶嘛？你筆錢抌咗落去，雖然有啲人就已經拎走咗啦，咁但係未拎走嗰啲人，到底邊個幫管理呢？放手放心，就係、是、呢個恒生銀行嘅恒恆生投資管理，咁咧佢就全數啊，全數接管咗，即係嗰個盤咧就攞咗嚟做啦。咁咧就而家要等佢正式安排啦，即係證監即係嗰個監督委員會嘅決定，咁啊應該係 O K 咗噶啦。咁就去到。二零二二年嘅第三季完成咗交接咧，咁盈富基金嗰啲管理同埋運作咧，咁呢樣嘢咧就會完全就係由恒生呢個管理咧就去大家管理大家啲錢啦。咁有一樣嘢好嘅咧就係佢哋嘅手續費會平咗嘅。哦、oh, ，OK， 咁啊呢樣嘢係我覺得，即係雖然係咁啦，即係即係除咗話有啲咩消費券咧，呢樣嘢如果你係打工仔，一路有供緊呢個 NPF 呢，咁就有呢個幾關大家嘅消息呢，財經呢，就係、是、同大家有關係啦。嗯、另外一間呢，就叫 Bloomberg 呢個財經新聞台啦。咁、嗯、今日呢，就呢個 Bloomberg 咁大間嘅 news agents 啦，咁其實喺香港裏面，佢有 office 啦。喺世界各地都有 office 啦，中國都有 office 噶。咁佢呢，就，我希望佢一日都離開中國啦。咁啊，今日呢，率先呢宣布咗，因為呢個俄羅斯呢，即係攻佔呢、這個即係烏克蘭咧呢件事呢，佢決定離開兩個地方，就係、是、俄羅斯同埋白俄羅斯嘅運作、哦、，which 係一個我覺得都一個犧牲嚟嘅，因為其實俄羅斯呢。系一个好有钱嘅地方，你都最近听到个新闻嘛？今朝你都同我即系 send 俾我呢，咪有一个富商諗住去划船，大家和谈坐埋咧，咩毒死嗰啲呢？争啲冇事，即系佢而家今日都改咗口风嘅，佢话可能喺空气里面有第啲嘢，不过我觉得呢啲嘢呢，即系喺和谈之前呢，我觉得佢哋又唔想讲到呢，即系话哇有人毒我哋，咁即系如果讲到即系俄罗斯咁衰呢。大家就唔使埋張台啦。喂，原來即係俾我諗到呢樣嘢呢。即係如果走埋去張台，係咪應該唔好飲水、唔好傾偈，唔好食嘢呢？要拎個好似我哋呢香港人成日拎住個熱水壺，自己拎個 thermo 差唔多。係啊，即係你呢啲啦，你完全諗唔到呢啲黑社會會用啲咩陰招陰嚟㗎嘛，係咪？即係所以呢，即係原來我其實完全諗唔到落毒呢一樣嘢㗎。嗯有邊個會諗到啊？即係有啊！你記唔記得深圳嗰陣時有一個似金正恩嗰個呢？佢喺泰國嗰度，佢走埋去兩個越南女仔，佢阿哥係啊，佢阿哥撞一撞啫嘛，毒死咗㗎。我唔知諗冇啊，係啊，佢整到你嗰啲 nerve 同埋嗰啲嘢，即刻即刻唞唔到氣，收縮晒你氣管喎，救唔到啊啲。
非常恐怖啊！呢啲真係，喂，當係一個咧生死未卜啊嚇，有個人。咁、哦、但係咧，我都幾 surprise 咧，喺呢個網絡冇封存到呢件事喎、啊。講緊呢個人俾人毒死？唔係呢個人啊，另外一個啊。咁啊，你日本咧有個演員咧，好竹野奈豐，你都知係邊個啦？佢、哦、影響我好大啊！佢因為喺我喺我嗰陣時睇嗱，大家都記得，如果睇日劇就《Long Vacation》啦，同埋《竹野奈豐》嘅咧，《愛的禮物》。《愛的禮物》咧叫做《Gift》咧，令到我咧係學到好多嘢。當時佢每一集咧獨立有一集嘅，咁啊竹野奈豐咧就做嗰個男主角去牽牽動十幾個故事一齊咁樣咯。係啊，竹野奈豐咧，其實我係覺得咧，日本嘅男明星咧最靚仔同埋最吸引咧，唔係木村拓哉，亦都唔係咩。板凳龍屎啊！有一個叫做，我覺得佢啊<笑>個名都知道，唔應該中意啦。龍屎喎，啲屎都係龍噶喎。唔記得，即係總之，其實我覺得佢係咁多個裏邊，佢係最吸引嘅。但係今日咧，竟然係佢失蹤咗。咁我初初咧一度睇咧，我以為係啊失蹤咗，可能可能唔知去咗邊啫。原來係真係失蹤咗。而家原來喺日本咧，嗯，佢咧就係誒喺今個月嘅十號開始，即係其實都已經唔見咗兩。礼拜噶咯，十十号开始唔见咗佢噶啦，咁然之后咧啲剧组嗰啲人咧一路都揾唔到佢啦，咁而家咧佢哋就系悬红咧六点五万港币，咁就希望咧可以揾翻竹野奈丰，咁点解会发现唔见咗佢咧？就系、是、因为原来佢咧最近就有一套剧啦，叫做《亚色刑事组》，咁收视咧好好嘅，咁然之后咧制作单位就希望可以再即系拍再拍啦，咁就 call 佢再拍。一路揾唔到佢，即系揾佢屋企人又揾唔到，点样都揾唔到佢。咁而家系完全唔知道佢去咗边，好奇怪喎、啊！呢单嘢好奇怪，你你好担心佢呢啲咧，有时会唔会喺屋企 overdose 咗啊？系啊，或者系有冇人，即系佢点啊？即系你知演员咧最容易有情绪病嘅，嗯，演员啊，你唔知佢呢段时间系做乜鬼啊？即係發生咩事呢？我覺得呢件嘢會發酵喎，因為點解呢？我諗啲劇組人呢應該同佢拍戲裏面，即唔多唔少知道佢有冇前科啊！即係呢啲要慢慢即係等啲傳媒裏面揭多啲出嚟。係咯，但係你覺唔覺得成件事係好怪呢？就係、是、即係佢去到要要俾錢出面啲人去揾佢咧，即係話基本上佢嘅劇組揾唔到佢咯。但係可唔可以冇咁平啊？六萬幾港幣呢、這個都係攬一嚟噶嘛。但係佢呢，嗱，如果劇組，鄭敬基都要呢個錢啦、啊。剧组应该知啦嘛，系<笑>咪？系系。咁佢去咗边咧？同埋经理人都一定知噶嘛。系啊，咁呢件事系好神秘喎、啊，好恐怖喎、啊、呢件事。喂，你知咩最恐怖啊？如果呢个人咧从之后未来嗰十年都揾唔翻，仲恐怖。呀，系啊，即系你话揾到有啲人咧就希望佢冇事啦，即系大家都我都我曾经系我即系、就是、心目当中偶像嚟噶，但系即系。你揾唔翻个人咧，系个心仲惊嘅，系好恐怖啊！嗬，系啊，系啊，系啊，希望可以快啲揾翻佢啦。咁啊，系啦，咁呢件事咁啊交代咗，咁大家系可以留意下有冇捉嘢来风嘅消息啦。因为净系得我真系见到净系得香港另一讲咗呢件事啫，就冇其他 media 讲、啊。咁但系 anyway 喺香港咧，咁啊 weekend 咧就大家开始出去食翻饭啦，系咪？咁啊啲餐厅又开始咧嚟紧喺四月尾嘅时候咧，又可以重新开放翻啦，有有翻堂食。嘅時間啊，等等，但係咧，原來有好多餐廳咧，話就算開放翻咧，都冇用，因為咧，原來咧，而家咧係有一個食材荒喎。咁咧，話説喺香港咧，就有大約二千間係供應食材嘅公司，咁但係原來咧就著咗二百間咧。就已經係 close down 咗噶啦，咁啊相對係等於十分一嘅供應商已經係倒閉咗啦。咁啊呢一啲食材。